Hi, welcome back everyone. My name is John with Education Solutions Online. And today I would like to talk with you about a very useful website that's called Padlet. So Padlet is a, it's kind of like a message board that you can use in class or of course online as well. And you set up certain questions that you want your students to answer. And then everyone, as long as they have a link to a certain Padlet, then everyone can access that Padlet and everyone can enter their answers on there. So I'd like to show you how exactly uh, how exactly I used it and a few different methods that you can use. And hopefully you'll get some good ideas on how you can use it in your classroom, either face to face or online. Of course, uh, in order to use this, your students would either need a smartphone, a tablet, or they would also need uh, or they would need a, um, a, a laptop to use in class here. Uh, I'm showing you how I'm using this on Zoom. So uh, this is something that you can use online or if you want to transition this back to face-to-face -to -face, uh, using it in the classroom, that would work as well. So let's go ahead and get started with some Padlet. Now let's have a look at how to make a Padlet with a global uh, map right here. So here, here we go. This one that we'll look at is a, it's called the map. It's down here in the bottom left. And once I select this one here, uh, you'll see that uh, we'll have a world map that comes up. Okay. And what I want to do here is, of course, uh, I can come over here and I can change my title to maybe uh, a good one that I did was uh, my summer vacation. Right. And uh, once we come down here, of course, like I showed you, you can copy this to clipboard. And once you copy it, then you can post it into Zoom. Uh, you can email it to your students. You can post it on your LMS. That way, all of your students would have this Padlet code and the ability to um, to post in here. So you can also change up the style of the map right here. Um, so I've got the, uh, I think mine's on the usual right there. There, are, uh, There's another cool one here. You can do like the terrain, like the satellite map right here. Um, but uh, for for this particular one, I'm just going to keep it to the um, to the usual. Okay. So I'll come back. Uh, you, choose, you choose your map style. Okay. And um, and then what we're going to do is uh, once once you've created this one, I'll, I'll click on next, and everyone's ready to start posting right here. So I can start posting on this, and uh, we'll come over here. We got this plus button as usual, and what you'll do is you'll search for a place by name. So uh, this particular one I did with my students here. I had them talk about where they went for their their summer vacation. You could use their winter vacation, spring vacation, wherever. Um, and, uh, and so let's say that, for example, if I went to Disney World, all right, and oops, I misspelled that one. There we go. So Disney World in Orlando. And um, let's see here. So I've got uh, several different options here that I can do with this one. Okay, so the very first thing we've got here is uh, we've got Disney World in Orlando, Florida. It drops a pin right there. This is for your summer vacation. So we can see that it drops a pin. And uh, once you click on this pin, then what your students can do, if you come over to these uh, these three dots, and um, uh, the, the student will, first of all, so all of your students will have this link, they'll, they'll pin wherever they went for the summer vacation. And, um, and once they get to that point, they'll edit the post. They can even change the location. Let's say, for example, if they got the wrong one. Um, and um, they can, let's see here. So if we go, there it is, so edit post. So um, yeah, the very first thing that I wanna do is I wanna edit this one here, okay? And maybe you wanna say that uh, you got your name on there. All right, so these are some of the different things that they can do. They can either upload pictures if they want to, they can take their own picture, they can put a link to, um, to a website, um, and they can also do an image search right here. So I've got right here, I've got my, um, my image search and let's say I wanted to do one for Disney World and I'm gonna do an image search. So there we go, I've got, um, I've got my image search all set up. All right, and I'm going to choose this one right here. All right, and there we go. So I'm gonna update it now. Okay, good, so I've got my, there's my name. So your students, you would say, maybe put their first name on there. They can put their name. Um, and then we can also edit this post. And then here is where they can type a, a short description about their 
um, about their uh, their summer vacation right here. So um, during my summer holiday, I went to, and then they can talk talk about that for a while. Okay, so um, this can be a really good icebreaker for a lot of students here, and they'll update that one right there. Okay, so uh, you will see once your students, once they get that the, the link to this Padlet, they will be able to post anywhere in the world that they went. Um, and, uh, and then it's a really good way to, to kind of go through these, these different ones and then um, find out it's a good uh, a conversation starter for your students as well. So this is a really good one. This is called the map. And it's another thing that you can use on Padlet. So I really hope that this was helpful and I hope that you're able to use it as well. So there are many different options that you have to choose from. Um, a really easy one is the wall. And that means that you can just, students can place anything. It's got like a big, um, it's almost like a big sticky pad or big uh, post-it note or a whiteboard for all of your students to post things on. You give your students a topic and then they have to post something onto it. And I'll show you one way that I'm using it right now. And that is the timeline. It's down here at the bottom. And what my students are talking about is um, they're using this for uh, fashion trends. Okay, so the very first thing that you'll do, uh, let me get my camera, my picture out of the way. Uh, you'll set in a title, give it a description. Um, let's see, if I scroll down here, this is the part that I really like about Padlet is you can give attribution, you can have students comment, and also with the reactions right here, you can have students give likes, upvotes, stars, and also for me, I can grade this as well. So let's say that this is a participation grade out of 10 points right there, and I'll click on next. I'm all set, I can start posting right here. So we've just got this timeline right here, but uh, you'll come over here and you wanna add something into your timeline. And I have my students come over to these three dots. Click here, you can upload link, uh, do a Google search, snap film something, do a voice recording, very good for speaking tasks. You can record your screen, draw something, place something uh, from a location. Right now, my students are doing Google searches for um, for uh, fashion trends. So if I do 1970s fashion trends, and I have them do a search, an image search for 1970s fashion, uh, bet we can find some bell bottoms somewhere in here. There we go. Of course, we've got the bell bottoms so I would click on this and my, my timeline comes up. So what I've done here, this is just very quick uh, showing you how to post in here. So uh, next up, how do we share our Padlet? So I'll open up my fashion trends that I was having my students work on and it just takes a moment to come up. There we go. So I've got my students working on there. Some students chose the 1940s, 1950s right there. And I can scroll along 1960s, 70s, 80s. There we go, all the way on up. Okay, so it looks like we're just about done. Um, you're probably wondering how did I get my students to be able to do this? Well, there's this little button up there at the top. It's a share. Once you click on share, I'll get my screen out of the way. Um, I don't wanna add my members here because then they can potentially delete this if they wanted to, but rather I want to share this by copying it to clipboard and I'll take that link and I'll post it into my LMS. You can also get your students, um, you can embed this into your LMS as well. You can email it to them um, or you can also share it on Google Classroom if you're using Classroom. So all you have to do is post that into your LMS and then um, you are ready to go. Okay, let's take a look here at Padlet. And this is uh, for a class that I'm teaching on financial literacy. And this is our money conversation number four. So I've taken in here, I can, after I've posted up my, uh, my questions for my conversation, I can share this, I can copy the link to my clipboard and I, I've shared this link inside of my Zoom classroom, inside the text chat. And once I do that, my students open this up and everyone can edit this. And you can see I've got about, uh, I've got about 20 students here in my classroom and they're, edit, they're um, answering my questions 
in real time right now. And so this is our money conversation right here. And then we can revisit these and, and we can have a conversation. And I can find out uh, what my students think about this with this uh, with this conversation. Now, a really good thing here is that I can also, um, I can export this when it's all finished. I can share this. I can save it as a as a PDF or as a CSV if I wanted to, or as, or as, a C, uh, as an Excel spreadsheet. Um, but I like to save this as a PDF so that um, I can get my students to look at what other people think about this conversation or this topic right here. So Padlet is a really good option for having everybody work on one particular uh, topic or one, one document here. And I so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you found it very useful. And I also hope that you will be able to use Padlet in your classroom, either face-to-face -face or online. Thanks a lot. And of course, if you like this video, please do be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated with some of the latest videos that I post on this channel. So thanks a lot, you guys. And as always, adios.